Have you ever wondered what the difference is between a font and a typeface? Well, wonder no more because that's exactly what we're clarifying today. I'm Nona Blackman for Envato Tuts Plus. And if you're trying to figure out what the difference is between a font and a typeface, you're not alone. Many people talk about typeface and fonts like they're the same thing even though contemporary usage often blurs the line between the two, they're not the same. The word typeface came into being in the early days of printing to describe characters that share common design features. So Helvetica is a typeface with characters that share common design features. Likewise, Times New Roman is another typeface with characters that share common design features. Now, each of these typefaces includes a collection of fonts. So, using the Helvetica typeface as an example, the Helvetica typeface is made up of 51 fonts. Each of these fonts has a specific weight, style, size, and effect. Helvetica Lite is one font, Helvetica Regular another, and Helvetica Bold yet another. And these are just three of the 51 fonts that fall under the Helvetica typeface. Think of it this way. The Helvetica typeface is the family and each font is an individual member of that family. So how did these terms get so muddled to begin with? Well, the confusion arose with the evolution of desktop publishing, the naming conventions in operating systems and various applications where users were presented with a font menu rather than a typeface menu. Given everything I've said, does the difference between font and typeface matter anymore? Well, that depends on who you ask. To those who understand the distinction in terms, typically people who have trained in graphics, typography, or type design, the distinction is sacred. But it is worth bearing in mind that language and terminologies gradually change and evolve over time. And those changes are often driven by common usage, not by experts. Maybe what's important here is to know the distinction yourself and to use it when you're communicating to be clear and precise. But if you're talking to someone who isn't an expert or who uses the terms interchangeably, don't attempt to beat them over the head with your superior knowledge. Just stick to the terminology they understand and remember, The essence of communication is to be understood, not to overcomplicate things. Well, that's my two cents on the difference between font and typeface. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, come on, you know you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see other terrific videos from Envato Tuts Plus, subscribe today. I'm Nona Blackman, and I'll see you next time.